Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Undertale. So, last time, we kept battling Papyrus and he led us through, we became his friend, and we met Undyne, um, Papyrus's boss, I guess, and, uh, she saw us, I think, but she, like, backed up and whatnot. Um, but yeah, now I'm kinda scared. And now there's this, like, little guy who wants us to come see, um, Undyne killing some people. So yeah, I guess we'll, we'll get started here. Uh, when the four... When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Alright. Uh, do I have to pick them? Oh, I do. Alright. How do I drop them? Oh, like that. Okay, cool, cool. So, yeah. So, last time we did more... We saw Undyne. She looked very scary. Um, she had, like, a full thing of armor. Oh, that's cool. The little flowers that make a bridge. That's cool. Um, and yeah. And we battled Papyrus a bit more, and we became his friend, and uh, we said we could go on a date with him if he wanted. Aaron flexes in. Uh, hello, Mr. Horse Mermaid. Oh, crap, I didn't press, I didn't press it. No need for a swimming suit, winky face. <laughs> oh, God, that's so bad. No, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, crap, I just took so much damage. It's sweating bullets, literally. Jeez. Oh, crap, I forgot to press X. Okay, he has, like, no health. Come on in, the water's fine, winky face. Jeez, I'm kind of creeped out by this guy. Crap, he does so much damage. Oh, I dashed it. Okay. Aaron is watching you playfully. <laughs> Please no. Eat it. Oh, yeah, you did. You did. I got a lot. Your love increased. Oh. Awesome. All right. What does that water thing say? What does that sign say? I guess I, I can never find out. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. I hope these flowers grow back. Oh, no, I can't place them. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. I think I can place them here. I really want to see what the sign says. Oh yeah, there's enough flowers, I think, to do it across here. Hello? Oh, it's only one four line. Crap. Well, messed that up. <laughs> okay. Uh. What? Oh no, did I mess something up? I think I may have. If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seas back to where they started. Okay, thank god. Because I totally messed that up, I think. Because that's when four line? Is it when four align, I think? I'm not entirely sure how this works. I think it said when four align. Did I just... What did I do that mushroom? Oh, I turned it off. Okay. <laughs> it's like a light switch. Okay. That's cool. Um, so let's try... That? I assume is the right thing. Because it's when four align. I, I think that's what that said. At the start there. So let's try that. And then we can cross, I believe... Will they form? Yeah, okay. So then we can just uh, do this. Alright, good, good. We did it. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number se sequentially until I got yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> she thought she saw you wearing a, cross a gross bandage. Is that true? Are you wearing a gross bandage? Am I wearing a gross bandage? Actually, I might be. I don't think I am. No, I don't think I am. So you are wearing a gross bandage. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Click. Oh, crap. I realized that we may have just told him like what we look like a little bit. So then Undyne knows what we look like. Crap. We should have probably lied about it. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes into the, scars in the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Oh, that's sad. Uh, wishing room. Okay. Don't really have any wishes. I guess I I could wish to go home? Wusha shuffles up. I don't know what you are, but I'm just going to flee, <laughs> I guess. Alright. What do these flowers have to say? I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Oh, that's sad. Uh, look through the telescope? Yes, please. Oh, look at that. I can look through. The heck is that? Check wall. What is that? Why does it say check wall? What? Check wall. Check wall. Alright, I'll check the wall, I guess. What wall? Check wall, check wall, check wall, check wall. What does that mean? Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. 
Check the wall. Check a wall. Check wall. Check wall. I'm checking the wall. Come on, sis. Make a wish. Okay, I don't know what that means. Check the wall? Maybe later? I don't know. This wall? Oh, yeah. Check this wall. Alrighty. Because I would have thought that looks like a dead end. A dead end otherwise. If I could talk otherwise. Okay. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Alright. Uh, why do the humans attack? Indeed, it seems that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Oh my gosh. That's cool. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power al allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. Oh. That's interesting. Okay. If a monster defeats a human, they take, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. I think I said that wrong. Uh, it's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about it. About the drawing. Alright, where do I go? Oh, okay. I'm just on a little bridge? Or what, what's happening? Okay. Was I just like on a little raft? I guess so. I guess I was on a little raft or something. Where's this little, where's that little dinosaur guy that was... Oh, jeez. That's Undyne's weapon. Oh no! Please no! Please don't hurt me! Ah! Oh no, I'm really low on health. Dadge! Dadge! Dip and dive and zigzag! Oh my gosh, this is scary! No, please. Close on dine. I did nothing wrong. I know you want my human soul. Ow! Dodge him. Oh, I dodged him like a boss. Did you see that? Oh jeez! Oh no! Dodge him like a boss. Eh. Ah, it's really hard when it gets short. Crap! Run away! Oh, no please. Run! Run into the bushes! They can't get me here. Where am I? What's happening? Oh no, I hear him. I hear him walking. Oh no, please don't see me. Ah! Don't see me. You're too tall, you can't see me. I'm too short, you can't see me. As I wave my hand in front of my face, you can't see me. <gasps> oh, you got him instead. Oh my god, you saved my life, man. Did you just grab his eyeball? That looks painful. What happened? <gasps> he grabbed the little little dinosaur guy and walked off. <gasps> oh my god. Alright. Oh my god, thank you little monster guy. You just saved my life, man. I don't know what this does. Are these bobbers? Fish bobbers, I guess? <gasps> okay, what's happening? Oh, hello. Little fish, or little dinosaur guy. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. Okay. I, I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit more to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Um, I actually don't like Undyne. Uh, man. I, okay, I didn't, I didn't get to tell you, but that's fine. Ooh, what's this? It's like a purple thing. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Alright, I got a save stone here. Pretty cool. Knowing that the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the magical crystal, it fills you with determination. Alrighty. Cool, cool. Let's keep going. Let's see what this flower has to say. Squeak. Oh, it's just the mouse. <laughs> he just wants the cheese, man. Oh, hello, Sans. What's up, bro? Thinking about getting into telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. <laughs> Thanks, man. How's about it? Use the telescope? Yeah, sure. It said something secret last time. It's just all red. Uh, why is it all red? There's nothing here. It's just a bunch of red. Alright, don't don't know what that was about. Let's talk to him again. Huh? You aren't satisfied. Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. <laughs> oh my god. What a little bugger. Use the box. Uh, let's see if there's anything in the box. Nope. I'd always hope that there is something in the box, but there never is. There never really is. Okay, there's like a little mushroom guy. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Aw, oh, poor him. Are you a star? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Alright, we have two ways to go here. Uh, or multiple ways, actually. Oh, why do I have a... Why do... What happened to my eye? Why do I have a bruised eye? That wasn't there before. It must have been... Oh, it was from looking through the telescope, I assume. He trolled me. He trolled me. Oh, hello, ice cream man. Nice cream man, I mean. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. I'll buy some. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. 
Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Alright, ice cream is frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Oh, it's more than last time. Okay, well, I'll buy one because I'm kind of low on health. Your card's in the box. Alright, thank you, man. I'll take that. How is it in the box? Take a card? Yes, please. You got a punch card. Yay, I did it. Alright, I got an ice cream. Maybe we can buy two more and then we can get a punch card. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> I guess. Okay, this is kind of cool. It's like glowy. Oh, where am I going? It's like a magical little glow area. Oh, this is where the flowers come from, I guess. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm, do I want to go down here? I guess so. Let's keep going. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Alright. I don't know which way matters. Oh no, I'm scared. Oh, it's just some moldzals. Screw you, moldzals. I don't really care about you. Alright. There's so many different paths, I don't know where I'm going exactly. Oh, there's a bush here. Bush? You got anything? Alright, there's nothing here. There's just a, a bush, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a cool place. It's like glowy, and there's like lily pads that are glowy, and everything's glowy. It's like neon. Alright, we can't go through here. Ring! Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember what I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. Oh jeez. Okay. Well, worry, dear not not dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you were not wearing a, cro a gross bandage. So of course I actually told her you were indeed wearing a gross bandage. Oh. What? Alright. It paid me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a gross bandage. Oh crap. She surely won't attack you. Crap. I, I am not. Wait, what? Now you are safe and sound. Wowee, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. Click. Crap. So I told him. Oh, my eyes my eyes fine now. Okay. So yeah. So I told him as in I thought that he was going to tell Undyne that uh, she was going to mess me up. Or she, she was kind of explaining what I look like. Kind of thing, right? I think that's what's happening. Where the heck am I going? What does that say? The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Oh, I see, okay. Oh jeez, where am I going? What the hell is that thing? Uh, what are these things? They're kind of scary, man. Is that a narwhal? I hope so. I hope it's not a- oh jeez. Oh no, it's an octopus. Oh god, look at its face! Hey there, notice you were here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you hear? All right, hello, Onion Son. <laughs> What's up, bro? You're visiting waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Alrighty, you're a little creepy. Not gonna lie. Even though the water here, the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time. But hey, hey that's okay. <laughs> it beats moving to the city. And living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Alright, so he's like a sea creature, I guess. And their aquarium's full, anyway. So, even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Aw, poor him. He lives in a tight little space. Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! <laughs> oh... Bye, buddy. You're pretty cute. See you later, man. <laughs> Alright. We're in- this is called Waterfall, I guess. Oh, so many things that want to kill me. Please leave. Alright. I don't know where I'm going. I'm getting totally lost, I think. This power has no counter. Indeed, the human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would need to- be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Alright. Oh jeez, what's this thing? This looks creepy. It's a statue. The structure at its feet seem dry. Alright, this is like a hole like where something came in though, isn't it? Because like there's rain coming from somewhere. Or maybe it's just water. Please take one. <laughs> it's an umbrella. Alright. 
Take an umbrella? Sure. Do not. You took or to, you took an umbrella. For some reason, I thought it said do not. But it did not. All right. It did not say do not. All right. We're in like a watery puddle, it seems. Oh, there's this person again. Is this a different person or the same person? Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. I think this is a... Oh, no. It's the same person. Let's go. All right, buddy. Let's go. There's like so many different paths. I feel like I'm taking like a different path because I think you could go past where I was or you could go up. Maybe there's just a little thing there that I'm... Or no, that was where the ice cream man was, wasn't it? Or there, or yeah, you could have. I could have went right, but I don't know what was there. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Oh no, knowing she was gonna beat me up, haha. -ha. Oh jeez, that's kind of scary. I'm kind of scared now, man. I don't want to get beat up by Undyne. She, she never loses, so that that means I'm gonna die. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower, the king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if a dime came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> That's true. That's kind of bad, though. You don't really want to beat up your teacher. Uh, maybe we should beat... Up the teachers, yeah. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Uh, well, I'm an innocent person. I feel like she might hurt me. <gasps> Ooh, cool, cool scenery. Where am I? What's happening? Is that the castle? Is that the king's castle? What's happening? Hello? Can I... What's happening? Did I break the game? Hello? There's nothing here. What did I do? I think I broke. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Um, these stars look very nice. They're like little shiny rocks. This is cool. There's the king's castle, I guess. What are you doing? Alright, he's following me around. Huh, this is cool. I like this little, like, this little somatic thing. It's cool. Oh, didn't want to go there. Alright, put my umbrella back and return the umbrella? Uh, sure. You return the umbrella. Alright, it's kind of still raining, though. Crap. Uh, hello? Yo, that this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Not really. Climb on my shoulders. I don't really want to see her, but... Oh, thanks, man. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get s through. He always falls on his face, though. That kind of hurts. That kind of looks like it would hurt. Maybe not. Maybe monsters have a higher pain tolerance than humans do. Probably. I would assume so. Alright. The humans afraid of our power declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Oh, well, that's sad. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top. It fills you with determination. Everything just fills me with determination, man. Alright. Well, I guess we'll end it here for today. We uh, met that little dinosaur guy, and uh, I don't know if we're going the right way or not. Um, but... This, this little guy's trying to head us, or lead us to Undyne, but I don't even know, I don't think we want to see Undyne, because she beats up everyone, and I don't want to get beat up, man. I'm just a little, I'm just a little, I'm just a little boy or girl, I don't know, <laughs> I think I'm a little girl. Um, but yeah, so, hope you all enjoyed this episode, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to share with your friends. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's see, there's a bridge that leads to somewhere, hopefully not Undyne. Um, so yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.